Hi, this is Jenny, and this video is going to be a quick but detailed hands-on with the 2021 release new Black Bag Chrono from Tudor, so let's get started. And as always, for transparency reasons, I want to let you know that I have borrowed these watches from Tudor so I can film them for you, but I'm not affiliated or sponsored by them. First up, let me summarize the stats for you so you know what to expect of this. The Black Bay Chrono is made from durable 316L steel with a diameter of 41 millimeter, a height of 15 millimeter, and a lug to lug of 50 millimeter. It's waterproof up to 200 meter, which is more than enough. A matte black anodized aluminum bezel with a tachymeter scale and silver markings. Inside beats Tudor's in-house automatic caliber MT5813 which is COSC certified with a power reserve of 70 hours or to put it into Tudor's words it's weekend proof. The sapphire crystal is slightly domed and though Tudor equipped other new releases with an exhibition case back this one has a regular steel back. The new black bag chrono is available with an opaline dial which is the sort of off-white color or a black dial with two contrasting sub dials in the opposite color that display the seconds and the time minutes up to 45 minutes. As to be expected, you can also choose between the steel bracelet that we know from other models like the Black Bear 58, for example, with its deco only four rivets, a folding clasp and safety catch, or you can pick a fabric strap or a black leather strap with a removable bund, which also closes with a folding clasp. As the name indicates, it's a chronograph, so you get your chrono pushes on the right hand side, as well as a date at six o'clock on both colorways. Right, so I obviously can't give you a report on how it wears over time, but what I can do is give you my thoughts about my first impressions of it, how it feels holding it and putting it on and my take on the new chrono in general. My very first impression is that this chrono feels and looks a lot like something I have seen or held before. The case shape and finishing reminds me of my Tudor Black Bear 58, so you get the nice rougher looking brushing on the top with a polished edge and the flanks. And I mean, it's a very subtle but very lovely detail that lets you know that Tudor has spent a good amount of time manufacturing this one. The steel bracelet feels smooth and well finished which doesn't surprise me to be honest. I've gotten used to the fake rivets pretty quickly so they also do not bother me on this one. Though I wouldn't personally wear this watch myself as I think it looks too big on me. I am still a bit disappointed there is yet again no form of quick adjustment on the bracelet so you would have to use a tool if you want to adjust it. The fabric strap wears really comfortable and is definitely something you could consider if you have smaller wrists like me because that way it wears not as large as on the steel bracelet but I am not the biggest fan of the black fabric strap itself. I mean though the buckle looks really cool it feels a bit wrinkly to me and I think I would rather go for a nylon NATO instead. As you might have seen already the crown wears the Tudor rose and is easy to grab and you feel a nice amount of resistance when you wind it. To use the chronograph function you have to unscrew the pushes which at first sounds annoying I agree but it's actually fun. I kind of feel like a bit more I don't know professional by screwing and unscrewing the pushes when operating the chrono. I know it might sound silly but it's not like I am actually using the chrono on my other watches on a daily basis so the little extra effort makes it a bit more special to me. But I get that that is just absolutely up to personal preference. Both dial colors have the same granular structure, which contrasts nicely to the more shiny and smooth surface on the subdials. The red arrow tip on the chronograph hand and the red lettering are a nice interruption on the dial. And I also do like the overall layout of everything on it. The date is legible enough and the printing looks great on both the dial and the bezel. The super luminova filled hour markers and hands glow bright, just how I prefer it and it's something I've gotten really fond of about my Black Bear 58 so that's very similar to it. I'm also happy that they are not as thick or high up as some of the press pictures make it look like so the hour markers sit rather flat on the dial. Though I personally don't mind the look of the snowflake hour hand I wish they would have gotten rid of it for this chrono. I mean like I said I don't really use a chronograph but the snowflake hour hand is really covering up a lot of subdial space in between 8 and 10 or 2 and 4 o'clock and I can see how that would be annoying for some. The MT5830 is an in-house caliber but it's worth mentioning that it is also the product of the partnership Tudor has with Breitling since 2017 in which it partnered up to exchange movements basically so though the MT5813 is based on the Breitling B01 movement Tudor upgraded the chrono timer to 45 minutes instead of the 30 added a non-magnetic balance spring and escape wheel that is made from silicone and a tungsten rotor to it. I would say that overall I do prefer the look of the opening dial so the white dial color because it feels less busy to me. The bright white hour markers, they do fade very nicely into the off-white dial and the only thing that really stands out are the sub-dials which are being complemented by the matte black bezel 
And I just think that's the perfect panda look to me. Though the case wears comfortably and the steel bracelet is as smooth as you would expect from Tudor, I am still hesitant to give it my IBWC stamp of approval here, simply because of the luck to luck and the case thickness. That being said, I feel that Tudor created a very handsome chrono that doesn't shock you because it kind of reinvented the vintage inspired chrono wheel, but rather one that reinforces Tudor's standing as one of the most popular brands in the watch world right now that pulls off vintage inspired watches very well. Anyways, that was it from me. But what do you think about the new Black Bay Chrono? In case you are looking for a Panda Dial Chrono, would you consider this one? I mean, as always, let me know in the comments down below. And thanks to Tudor for letting me borrow these watches. If you want and enjoyed this video, you can give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one. Bye.